What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel for your turning. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Jamisha and today I wanted to come on here and hopefully do a really quick little short little video talking about my experience at Kennesaw State University as someone who transferred out of the school. A little refresher, if you don't know, I went to Kennesaw for my sophomore year and before that I went to Georgia State and again I go to Georgia State now as a senior and I went to Georgia State my junior year. So I went to Kennesaw for one year of my life and a lot of people who follow me or subscribe to me on YouTube know me from Kennesaw because when I went to Kennesaw I started making a lot more college content and a lot more people found me, follow me, and are keeping up with me from Kennesaw. So to those people, hi, I love y'all. To the people who know me from Georgia State, I love y'all too. For the people who just know me off some random video, I love y'all too. So um just a refresher or just a what would you call it? Like a lucky um not a warning disclaimer. What was the disclaimer? I don't go to Kennesaw. So any video from here on out, unless it's like one of these kind of videos where I recap my experience transferring, going to Kennesaw, whatever, I will not be making Kennesaw content. So if you don't want to see anything I make, I'm sorry about it, but I won't make Kennesaw content. I'm still a college student, so I'll still make college content, just not specifically Kennesaw content. But yeah, now that that's out of the way, we can go ahead and talk about my opinions of Kennesaw and my experience. So, I'm out of breath. I recently got a comment from someone telling me to, or asking me to rate my experience at Kennesaw, and I rated it a seven out of 10. Now, that's pretty good, 70, that's passing. Honestly, I would probably do like a 7.5, 8-ish, now that I think about it in hindsight because Kennesaw is a vibe. Um, I love Kennesaw, honestly, I do, I love it. If I could have afforded to stay at Kennesaw post sophomore year, I probably would have stayed at Kennesaw. But the situation and circumstances that I was in did not allow me to stay at Kennesaw. So the vibe of Kennesaw, I love living on campus. I love the greenery, I love the college feel. I love like feeling like I was kind of in my own little world as a college student. I love that. That was an amazing experience that I feel like every college student should have. I feel like I stepped out of my shell a lot more. I feel like I made good friendships at Kennesaw that I did not make at Georgia State. And a lot of it had to do with me living on campus. Um, like some of the best friends I have from Kennesaw, I met before I even went to Kennesaw, I met them at orientation, um, and I still rock with them to this day. Um, but yeah, I just feel like that experience, I mean, probably if you went to Georgia State and lived on campus, you'll probably still kind of get that same feel of like being immersed in the experience and creating friendships from being so involved. But because I did not live on campus, those friendships really just don't form, so. Um, but yeah, I feel like I ventured, ventured out a lot. I became a brand ambassador for Kennesaw. Like, what? I was hootie hoo. <laughs> oh my God, that is so crazy to me. Like, no, I feel like I was really like, at the beginning of me transferring to Kennesaw, I was extremely excited. I was happy. I was like, I was really like an owl. Like, you can tell me nothing. Black and gold bleed until I die. Or is it black and yellow? I don't know. Whatever Kennesaw colors was. I was that girl. I said, what? Taking pictures, posting pictures, following all the Kennesaw people. I even went on like, <sighs> when I was starting like picking, going from senior year of high school to going out to college, I was not excited about the process. Like, honestly, I was not in love with Georgia State. I wasn't in love with any school. Like, college was such a like, a far away dream to me as a, like a high schooler so like I didn't even think yeah I'm gonna go to college let me go uh, tour all these colleges and find the perfect one for me or I never had a dream school or anything like that so it's just kind of like I feel like college is the next step so let me go to college mm -hmm. so I was never like uh, let me go find all the people who's gonna go to Georgia State class of 2022 let me follow them be friends I didn't do that mm -hmm. when I was going into my first year at Georgia State. So I didn't have that beginning experience like I did at Kennesaw because I was so amped up and I was like, let me follow all these Kennesaw people, form friendships, fight and get on campus. That's what I was doing. 
And so that did play into my experience at Kennesaw. If I had done that at Georgia State, my experience might be different. But um, yeah, I feel like I grew um, socially, um, social media wise. The majority of the subscribers that I have on here are from Kennesaw videos. Um, a lot of followers that I have on Instagram are people that I met or I followed from Kennesaw. So I feel like Kennesaw just, I grew as a person at Kennesaw. Um, but the main thing, so the reason why I no longer attend Kennesaw is because I couldn't afford to stay at Kennesaw. So as a sophomore, I didn't have the funds, I didn't have the mode of transportation, I didn't have the job to pay a thousand dollars in rent to stay on campus or a thousand dollars or how much ever to live off campus at Kennesaw. So that really was my main reason why I couldn't stay. But other than that, Kennesaw, I mean, I, I, I highly recommend it. I mean, I love my experience there. Even though the second semester, first semester, I was, yeah, amped up, hype, pumped up, all of that. The second semester, I kind of got in a little rut, a little mood. I was like, ready to go home, just over it. But honestly, looking back, if I was in the space where I could afford to live there and I could provide for myself and it wasn't if y'all can hear that please excuse that my parents are watching a movie and I wanted to film this video all of a sudden and I keep moving around because I'm sitting on my legs because if I sit flat you can't see me so I have to do like this so y'all can see me but if I could afford to stay on stay on campus and live there oh for sure I would still be a Kennesaw to this day like I, even though I was, oh, I think so. Cause I transferred the second semester. It just was, I was like, I don't know. It was kind of, I don't know. I'm a different kind of person. I was in a bad state throughout my whole time there. Like after like, all, like October onward, I was just like in a really bad headspace and I would go home a lot and I was just like, I don't like Kennesaw. I wasn't really having like, I was making friends, but I wasn't really hanging out with anybody. And it just honestly felt like I was, I was sad at Georgia State living at home. And I was like, I'm, I'm sad at Kennesaw now and I'm paying to live here and I'm sad. Like, I was just like, my problems aren't being solved. But then again, that's another issue with me because I should have solved my problems first rather than trying to, rather than thinking that moving to another you know, moving to another city was gonna solve all of my problems. That didn't happen. And I carried those same problems with me to another to another city and was still upset. So, but I don't know, all of this goes to say that I really enjoyed my time at Kennesaw. It was a great experience for me. If you're thinking about going to Kennesaw or if you're thinking about transferring to Kennesaw or if you're already going to Kennesaw, I believe that you're gonna have an amazing time there as long as you Put yourself out there. Don't be isolated. Don't be to yourself. College is the time to step out of your comfort zone, to be the person you always wanted to be, to reinvent yourself. Just college is the time to it's like open a new book, start a new page. You get to create your own story when you go to college. So take advantage of that and just live your best life. And I think Kennesaw is the perfect place to do that. So yeah. And if you're going there and you're watching this YouTube video and you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and record some videos, um, upload them, edit them, upload them, all that stuff. And I would love to watch it because I love college content no matter where you're at. And especially if you're going to Kennesaw, it was a vibe. I like seeing Kennesaw. It was beautiful. So make some videos and I'll be sure to check them out. Let me see if I want to cover or adjust anything else. I think that's it. Oh, I also wanted to mention, I really did like Kennesaw. I was thinking about this on my live that I did um, two, three, four, how many days ago. I was thinking because, you know, school doesn't stop or college doesn't stop after undergrad. I'm still figuring out what I want to do post undergrad. Thinking about grad school, thinking about, it's complicated. Sociology major, but I'm like, do I want to continue sociology? Because it had me depressed. Um, but I do want to further my education into higher learning. Um, and if I do decide to go to grad school, 
Kennesaw could be an option. I did love the vibe of Kennesaw, the um, professors at Kennesaw, Kennesaw just in a whole, in its entirety. So I'm not gonna ca count out, count out, cancel out, whatever I was gonna say. I'm not gonna cancel out Kennesaw from my book. Honestly, I love Kennesaw. Um, if I could have afforded it to stay there, I would have. And in the future, I might go back to Kennesaw. So we never know. We'll only um, time will tell. So we'll see. And if I do, I'll be sure to update you guys and keep y'all posted on my journey. Of course, I'll try to make more videos because we're getting back into back to school season. That's kind of my favorite time to record videos because I like back to school content. Um, but yeah. I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns related to transferring Kennesaw, college, YouTube, anything, feel free to comment it down below or you can message me on my social media platforms at me Marie on everything. And yeah, that's it for today. I love you guys so much and I'll be sure to see you in my next video. Bye.